In this video tutorial, I will show you how to adjust your WHMCS storage settings to resolve the customizing default paths warning. The storage settings set the path to your WHMCS download and attachment directories. The downloads directory is used to store the downloads you upload as an admin that may be used by your clients. These can be associated with a product or service, for example. The attachments directory stores attachments sent via tickets or emails. When WHMCS is first installed, the download and attachment directories are located within the root files. This makes these directories publicly accessible, which is the reason why WHMCS shows a warning. This could be a potential security concern. For example, if a user finds a way to upload a malicious file as a ticket attachment, knowing the default attachment directory path, they could access the file publicly and attempt to compromise your website. To stop the potential security risk and resolve the warning, we need to change the path of these directories. From within the default public HTML to home directory. Head to the WHMCS system settings and access the storage settings page. To the left we have the file type WHMCS is storing. And to the right the path of the directory storing those files. As you can see, WHMCS gives us full control to set unique locations for each file type, including email attachment, client files, and ticket attachments. In this guide, I will stick to the same free directory structure, but you are free to create more to separate files more specifically. Following the same structure, head to cPanel's file manager or access your files using an FTP client. Head to the home directory. I like to create a parent directory to store all WHMCS files. Then within this WHMCS directory, create the attachments and downloads directories. Within attachments, create the projects directory. Next, head back to the WHMCS storage settings and click on the configurations tab. Within the Add New Configuration, we will need to create a local storage path for our new directories. Note that the start of the path is shown at the top of the left column of File Manager. Then the end path will be our created directories. Let's go ahead and create the three paths for the directories we just created, Attachments, Downloads and Projects. Head back to the settings. We will now need to change the old public HTML path to the new matching home path. When you make the change to the selection, you will see the option to migrate or switch. Migrate will move all of the files within the old directory to new directory. Switch will switch the path without moving the files. If you have an install with existing clients and files, use the migrate option. If it's a new install and in our case a test environment, use the switch option. The final step is to move the template C directory. This directory stores the cached template files which improves the performance of WHMCS. By default the template C directory is located within the root WHMCS files. Instead of being defined within the storage settings, this directory path is customized within the configuration.php file. Head back to file manager and find the template C directory. Right click and select move. Let's go ahead and move this directory to our previously created WHMCS directory within Home. 
Next, edit the configuration.php file and customize the template's compiled directory variable with our new path. Head back to the WHMCS health and status. You should see that the customizing default paths warning has disappeared. This confirms that your paths have been successfully changed to further secure your WHMCS. This video is brought to you by Zomex. At Zomex, we have been providing premium WHMCS themes and configuration services since 2009. You can view our full range of themes and services in the description below. Save 10% on your next order using the coupon code YouTube. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to ensure that you are notified of new videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider making a small donation to the channel via the description of this video. Donations are much appreciated and will allow us to increase the quality and frequency of videos.